I have been here um, almost a year and a half, and before that, I was studying the course for three years. And I just, I was to a point where I didn't want to do anything but read the course and meditate. And I did that for six months. And then I found um, the spiritual community online, and I just, I just felt it. I just knew it. And and um, I came like a week later. Just left my life, packed everything in my car, and came. And now I just can't ever imagine not doing this. I I the book. It, there, there was just nowhere else to go. Like I read, I was so interested in it that I read the text like seven times, and there was just I needed to experience it. I didn't know there was a place to do that, and I, I can't believe I found it. It's like I'm living what it feels like to undo the fear in my mind, the thought system that I've lived with for my whole life that I've never, and I've read so many times about the ego, and I read over the ego part, because so I was like, I don't need, I just need to know love. That's what I want to experience. I'm not going to read. But then I read, now I, I started reading it, and now I, I can recognize the ego in my mind, and I know that it's not me. And it's like, okay, that's the ego, and um, it's the one ego mind, and I'm going to join with the one Holy Spirit mind, like the, the right mind, the, who I am, the way God created me, and I, I'm learning more and more to choose that, and I get really frustrated when I see myself not choosing it, and I feel helpless, but then I, I just go back to the Course and remember, yeah, I, I have the power to choose, and um, it's just, you know, like I, I have people who have been here longer than me, and messengers that'll say, look, I just have more mind training than you, and I'm like, okay, I'm witnessing the, the no fear in you, and I am doing it. So then I'm like, okay, I'm in the, I'm in the process. At least I'm in the process. And I, I absolutely see it working. I absolutely, I, there's, there's, there's no, nothing left for me to try in the world because I've, I've experienced just about everything painfully. And now I'm like undoing that fear and I see the process working and I'm just, I'm so grateful. Um, I'm so much in amazement. I never thought I'd live in the community. I was on my way. I was playing House of Blues. I was, yeah, I, and I was miserable. It's so funny, like, the things that we think are going to make us happy don't. And so now I'm living, you know, in divine providence. I'm learning that right now just to trust that what is given me right now in this moment is what's perfect for me. And if I don't get sad about the past or look up, look to the past and don't hope for something in the future, then there is no pain in this moment. That is what I'm learning, that is what I'm practicing, just to stay in the present moment and know that what is in the moment is perfect. Just learning to accept. Well, it's, it's every day. Um, I, I can notice now when I'm in pain or when I'm hurting. And I can say to my community, I'm in pain and I need to go pray. And I'll just get real still with myself and say, okay, let's let's be real with, you know, actually I do things like, I'm going to take your hand, Jesus, Holy Spirit, abide inside my mind. And then I go, this hurts, let's look, but what is this, what is this? And then... You know, I just, like I'm talking to you, I just say, man, I think I want this, I think I need this, I, I'm i lonely, I'm hurting. And then I just, I say, just take it and shine your light upon my mind. And and then I just know that Spirit's got it. And then I just let it go. And I don't have to worry about anything else. And then, so if I really get back to the present in that moment, I'm free. I'm free, and then I just... I, I do have this little impatience thing where I think, okay, I'm free forever and I'm never going to have that thought system ever, ever again. And so I've learned that, yeah, I'm just undoing the layers and it goes really deep and that it's not going to be like God's going to flash, you know, you're healed. <laughs> but I am healing and I'm happier than I've ever been. And I didn't, you know, I have friends saying, let me know how you are in emails, but I feel in my heart that your spirit is happy. I mean, we're all joined, that they haven't spoken to them in years and they're like feeling that I'm happy. It's crazy, it's, and it's the truth. I did it on my own, read the course and practice at the job I had and with people around me. 
and luckily I kind of went back to work for a month and had that experience and it was it was sufficient mind training from what I had learned but living in community is very helpful because it's a quickening it's a quick way to heal your mind because it brings up much more every day. I mean, you're living with people some, sometimes in bunkhouses. You're joining with people on projects. We do um, undefined, guided, and collaborative relationships and projects. And let me tell you, um, it's never what I think I need or want. I mean, it's perfect for the healing of my mind. You don't get those opportunities because you're not with people who are trying to heal their mind. We're joined in purpose here, and you know, where two or more are gathered. And I'm like surrounded by a bunch of people who are saying, my one purpose is forgiveness. My one purpose is the peace of God. And I feel that strength. I feel when we meditate in a circle, like automatically the vibration of the presence of, I just feel, I just know that there, there I don't, I, you could have never asked me two years ago if this would, I would have never said this was the path for me, but I've experienced the, um, the magnitude of doing this in community with my brothers and it's it's amazing and it is quick it is I, and it's quicker than the people who came before me it's like we're all joining this purpose and now that people coming behind me are having it quicker than it happened for me it's like it's just amazing to be at the front of something so um, just so huge which is like freedom of the mind freedom of the you know, just letting go of the world, forgiving the world, forgiving. Yeah, it's. I feel really blessed to have found this this way, and it is. It's quick. I can feel the quickening in my mind. And like sometimes I say, Holy Spirit, really? Today again, we're gonna have to do something. I asked for it. I wanted it, and I am grateful for it.